Welcome to my house. I am Frumpy Buckle, and you're fish coming with Uncle Buck. Tonight, we're still down in Peru. We're knocking out these missions. Um, mission one went pretty damn good. <clears throat> mission two was a little bit rough. The, the clouds were in, uh, flew in. The barometric pressure dropped tremendously, and it was a little rough fishing. So we had to go deeper. Um, we went deeper. And we got our fish. We got her completed. So, we're off on the trial mission. Now, what fish are we after on this guy here? Well, we're after the Pyara. We're after the Silver Arowana. We're after the uh, the Butterfly Peacock Bass and the Aeropine. Those are the guys that we're going to hunt down in this mission. We're going to head... Most of this we're going to do out of the boat. Um, I haven't caught, haven't found a spot yet in any three of these joints because you can't walk too much uh, on either dock on either side. It's not like you can walk around the shore at this place. See, you're pretty much stuck with what you see in front of you when you get to a dock or you got to get in a boat. So we're going to get in a boat and we're going to go out there. Let me jump over here. Do to do get you over here. All right. First things that we're going to, we're going to get in the boat. I'm going to head out to the right, cut up through here, and we're going to hit this side over here, and there's one spot where I got, I can't remember if it's this path going in or it's that path going in, but right in the front is where Uni Peacock Bass lives. So we'll go visit his house, see if we can wake him up and grab a hold of him. If not, we'll slide down through this channel, and there's peacock bass down through here. I got a lot of markers down through here on both sides of this channel. So we'll float down through here, see what we can grab up here. Uh, eventually, we're going to end up up here at the mouth of the river, and we're going to hunt the uh, arowana and the payara up here. And now, as far as the arapaima go, we'll probably save him for last. Um, we got arapaima in a couple of spots in this waterway. Um, I might, it all depends on how quick we get through the video. If we might just go in here and grab him in the lagoon, or I've wanted, I wanted to go up here and, and see if I can grab a trophy, because I think there's a trophy up here at the end of the, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll go up there first and see if we can grab one up out of there and get ourselves a trophy. All right, guys, so let's go down here and take a look at our... I've gone over sticks. It's the same sticks. I'm still here, but let's refresh for those of you that may have not, and I don't know why you would watch this one without watching the first two, but if you did, we're taking an Omni Float right now. Omni Float with an Inspire Cast 3000 on it. That's for our little guys, okay? And which we're not fishing for any little guys today, so we're probably not even going to use that rod one bit, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Uh, we're going to go here. Now, this guy here I'll probably use for some peacock bass. He's strong enough to handle these peacock bass, so that's not a problem. We've got a, we got a 23 foot telescopic flipping stick. Okay, and we got the Draco, 8 foot. This is basically a Zeus spinning rod. So we've got him. Um, we got a River Spear 610 with an ultimate roller on it. I love this little guy right here. Nice half ounce. And I'll be, I'm going to update my best sticks in the game because he deserves to be put in there. Okay, number five is, of course, the Majesty 11.5 with an Emperor 7000 on him. 57 pounder there. We got a Heavy Chaser 910 with an Ambusher 9000. And heading around up at the back end is the La Cazadora. 10-2 with a Torbellino 10,000. And, you know, I bring these guys for the catfish. These are basically, we're going to use these sticks in the next mission. These are for the catfish hunting. Okay, so with that being said, uh, oh, okay, we're just going to barely catch a peak here. Hopefully we still got some good active time here. We can get these guys, get a couple of them picked up anyway before I have to roll over because I don't want to fish in the night. Like I said, night the, the night bite is not bright. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll meet you down at the boat dock. We'll see you down there. Okay guys, we are here. Let's jump in the boat. Get it fired up. Oh, I hope I turn this thing down. I hope I turn it down. It's not too terribly bad. Let me look at desktop on here. Oh, Buck. <laughs> hey, it's 
attention. Just like the old lady looking out the window when your driver's just screaming, tree, mailbox. <laughs> All right. Oh, hell. Yeah, if I try to go over there and adjust that, that's what happens. I end up wrecking. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me get, get a hold of myself here. Oh, crap. All right, we're gonna go over here to the mouth of the river of where the lagoon river, where the lagoon cuts through. Actually, there's a peacock bass right here. Sorry, guys. Get a shine around. That's not the shine. Come on, Buck. There, you grab the right pole. Oh, you're not going to flip. Here, there, that's it. All right, guys. I'm going to just toss around here real quick. See if I can mouse something up. I'll be right back. Well, we got something that's like that, Shiner. Let's see what he is. Yeah. Bart asks me what he is. Come on, oh, oh. get Piranha. Trophy red eye, yeah, of course. Alright, I'm not done here yet. Be right back. Alright, we've got another one. Oh, come on. Yeah, I saw something blowing up over here on the left side of that tree. So let's just go on down there. See what we get. Well, he definitely ain't no peacock bass, now is he? Alright, we'll hit another one here real quick. We're already sitting right here. What happened? <coughs> Alright, fellas, we got him. Right there around that log. Took me a little bit of time. Caught quite a bit of fish, actually, around there before I nabbed the boy up. Um, Alright, let's get back here. We don't need a picture of him, but... He ain't nothing to take a picture of. But we got it. <clears throat> now, let's keep him and mark him off the list. Now, what I basically did was I, I was floating down through there, and I was, while I was sitting on top of the tree, I was dragging a casting spoon out through here. Um, let's take a look real quick. I mean, because I haven't caught any fish but what I caught right here. Oh no, this is for the whole damn day. Oh, never mind. I didn't catch all this. I thought, I thought I rolled over already. Oh no, not yet. It's still day nine. Oh well, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I caught a lot of jacunda uh, on a casting rod. I caught, um, uh, not a casting rod, a casting spoon on my spinning rod. Okay, I had the lightweight half ounce on there. Caught quite a few of them out through here. But we can mark him off the list. So, let me mark this guy, get my pencil out of here. Butterfly peacock's gone. All right, well, that leaves the other two. Let's take a boat ride, guys. What we're going to do, so it's not so noisy, I'm going to do this. Pull out the map. All right, let's shrink this down. Here's where I'm at. Right here. He just pulled right out of the boat dock and came over here, and I hit him up right here. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to get us up here so the boat's not so damn nose noisy. And when I get up here, I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had a, had a change of mind here. Okay, what, why is my boat come, come on? Um, I'm going to go up there right away because. I want to show you guys that I want you to be able to see this spot here. Now, what you got right over there, I want to show you a couple of these spots because I'm not going to fish that now so you, so you guys can see it if you didn't see my tour video. Right there, the mouth of that point right there, that's a uni.
Union Butterfly Peacock on a walker. Now, to tell you the truth, most of the ship fish on this waterway I've caught on walkers, surface lures. That is that is the go-to lure. Um, it it could be tough with these bigger fish with the live bait. You, you can take a while. But again, depending on the day, you know, some days the, the live bait was working for me not too shabby, and the, the other days it was not nothing but nothing but walkers, just top ones. All right, so we're gonna go down here. I'm actually gonna, this is a good spot because we can probably pick up a silver air water down here. And that's one that's on our list. So we're gonna, we're gonna slow her down here a little bit. There we go. That looks about good there. Now let me pull the map out here so I can give you guys the credentials here. Why is it on? Now, ah, let's open this up to see what we got in front of us. That's what we're looking at. It's right in front of us. There's a trophy silver, trophy biara, unique biara, trophy butterfly, unique Dracunda, and another trophy silver. And pretty much every one of these I'm pretty sure was on a walker. Yep, that's a walker. Walker. Walker, like I said, I, I, yeah, uh, I fish a lot with that walker. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pull off the shiner and we're going to toss her over there. Let's see what we can pick up. Whoa, there, buck. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, I didn't want a picture of him, damn it. All right, guys, just put nabbed up the trophy butterfly right here where, where I said we were going to fish and I was going to throw some shiners. Well, I got rid of that shiner stuff right off the bat. I mean, nothing but piranhas. Okay, so I flipped over back to my walker. I'm throwing a walker in here. Now, that's the second cast I threw in there with this walker. Probably a little bit too close now. This is the this is the lure you want to oh what did I miss him? Oh I got myself some got myself some foliage. We don't want that. Yeah, I'm a little bit too close here. But now one thing I want to ah oh, look at the sun. All right, let's fix that. All right, sorry about the darkness. Okay, what I want another thing I want to show you about these walkers. It's so nice at this place with this. And I did get snagged out there where there wasn't even one. But you can actually, <clears throat> you can work these things right through that stuff. right through it rather nicely actually all right guys so I'm gonna work a walker for a while I'm not playing around with that bait no more um, let's see if I can grab a marijuana up here we're just gonna We're gonna pluck an arowana around. I got an arowana. Buck! <laughs> I need to fisk. I can't fisk and talk at the same time. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'll be right back. Well, fellas, I don't normally do this. However, I wasn't gonna give up a good night of fishing just because I was shooting a video. So I wasn't planning on actually trying to figure out what the trick is here. 
There we go. <clears throat> There's the Arapaima. We knocked him off the list. Now. Oh, man. I didn't even... There we go. <laughs> well, see, I wasn't even prepared. I had the camera on the wrong thing and everything. I was just trying to figure out what the hell the trick is here at the nighttime. I was going to spend a couple hours um, just practicing before the daylight came back up and I'd start shooting, you know, finish shooting the, the next, finish shooting this video. Well, I switched up to my my big stick and i threw some freshwater prawns on there and i set it for 13 inches lucky number 13. i figured if they're hitting on the surface lure they're not going to hit on anything deep at all so i'm going to put my damn live bait 13 inches up and sure enough bang just that fast now that's the first cast i threw out there um at, with this rig and this setup so We'll keep him. We can mark him off the list. We need the Pyara and the Silver Arowana. So I'm going to continue plucking around here. Let's keep this guy. Get me out of the way again. Um, I'm still pushing on my theory here that that Silver Arowana is going to be over there too. And I'm going to stay at 13 inches right there with the prawns, number five. And we'll see if we can't grab another one here in the dark. What the hell? All right, guys. Let me throw one up in there. We'll be right back. That was the first one. Let's see if we can get another one. All right, guys. Well, we just snagged up on Trophy Silver Arrow on. So we can mark him off the list. I fish through the night, fellas. Um, I worked on my nighttime skills there. Wasn't going to let it go to waste. So I fished through the night. Didn't catch much of anything. I was trying my theories there. Throwing the shiners in the live bait. Real, real shallow. 12 inches. Not much luck. Not much luck at all. So we rolled over. The morning time came. It rolled to 5 o'clock. New system. I threw the walker back on there. I'm still in that little channel. I'm floating right back down through there. So um, let's, we'll keep this guy. We'll keep him. Um, he's a trophy. He gets, to, he gets to get on the board. He gets to get on Buck's board. We'll go ahead and put him in there. All right. Let's see. We don't have to worry about depth. All right, guys, so that's where I nabbed him, right out of there, on a walker. Um, so, let's see, where else do we have left? The Pyara? That's it. All we need now is the Pyara. Well, I have not caught a single Pyara down through here. Oh, there's a little bit blowing up over there on the left of that tree, fellas. See that? All right, so, um, I'm going to get us up to the mouth of the river. That's where, that's where I catch my Pyara at over there. So... Let me get this boat turned around here, and I'll be back when I get his position. All right, guys, we're up here. Got the crew in here. Now that's a, uh, oh, that's a, that's a nice my arm right there. I think we'll just, we'll start here. We're gonna drift that way anyways. We'll start out here and see if we can. Nice and early in the morning. Should still be, should still be kind of hungry, wanting to hit, wanting to hit it.
Okay. And there's that there's that small little deep hole that kind of sits between them two mark. I'm just gonna buck around here for a little bit before we get drifted all the way up in there. See if we can grab out an empire. I'll be back. Well, we're hooked up here, fellas. <clears throat> I've been throwing everything. Everything. I finally went to a swim bait. One and two thirds ounce, three aught. There he is. All right. I are. We can mark him off the list. And that completes the trial mission, Maku Maku Lake. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, the, the live bait wasn't getting it this morning on nothing. I wasn't in there. We'll keep back under there. Nice little money there, 1764. Yeah, live bait wasn't working for me. Uh, the walker wasn't working. This barometric pressure, this is the first time I've seen in, in day nine and ten here. As the first time I've hit the barometric pressure dropping like this and overcast clouds. So, um, Everything went deeper. This swim bait works off the bottom. All right. So basically, what I did was I threw her out here. Let's take a look. How I worked this swim bait and just grabbed this guy up right away. All right. I just let him sink to the bottom here on a number one speed, working him real slow, and I just started just like this. Just a little twitching with that. Right off the bottom like that, working this swim bait. Because that barometric pressure tells me that they're deeper. Because of that. Ladder. So, uh, this is all I was doing. It was a, Actually, it was the very first cast. This is only the second cast I'd thrown in here with this. And that's pretty much it. That's how I was working right off the bottom. Sit down there a little bit. Getting bouncing just a hair. Well guys, I think I'm going to hang around here and work that swim bait a little bit. I haven't been using him much since I've been here. The walker's been performing so well, I haven't had to switch to anything else. So I'm going to work this guy for a little bit, but that completes our mission here. Um, we got them all done. What's left for us? The catfish. Alright, catfish. 
We're gonna do that towards the afternoon. What's our map look like here, guys? Let's take a look at it. What's going on over there? Get that off of there. Get that off of there. There we go. All right. Oh. Not too bad for the afternoon. We're just coming up. So we'll get some catfish throughout here. Definitely. Uh, the nighttime doesn't look for day 10. We've got to start off low. So we might. Well, if we don't grab these, how many do we need to get? One, two, three, four. Four of them. We should be able to get them. Not a problem there. All right. Let's see. Can I actually. If what happened if I pulled that up? Would you be able to see it? Yeah, you can see it from here. That's pretty cool. All right, I've been playing around with my buttons over here and I'm messing everything up, you know, box. I can't keep nothing straight. <laughs> All right, guys, let me back over here on this screen. We'll close this guy down. All right, well, <clears throat> that pretty much ends it for this one. We can mark this whole trial mission off our list. That's there, that's there. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you got something out of this cluster. <laughs> but something to realize here. Um, you know, I thought seven days would have got me through most of the cycles here. It took day nine before that barometric pressure actually dropped. I got to see some weather activity here, and it changed the reaction of these fish. I had to go deeper. We're catching them deeper today with this barometric pressure down there low. All right, fellas, remember to hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and the little bell there to get you notified. We'll be back with the catfish mission. Most stick. All right, thanks for watching. Never ever give up the fight. We'll see you later.